of the Empire Sports Network, in association with Niagara Frontier Sports Productions and the Buffalo Sabres. 21 years in the business, guys. We meet like this. I can't believe this. 21 years, and it's come to this, that we're being criticized. Uh-oh. Yeah, criticized, criticized again, yeah. Done again. Well, what else well, is there? I don't know, but... Oh, well, anyway, Joe Guinera, you've been a producer for so long, and you've never got anything like... Read it to us. I, I just can't believe this. Listen to this. Dear, dear Mr. Guarneri, we've been informed that you, as the producer of the Sabres telecast, have much to do with their sexist nature and their inattention to specific <laughs> interests of thousands of women of all ages who are Sabres no, fans. the last thing we're going to We therefore are warning you that an observer will be in the auditorium and visiting your television production facilities on the night of March 31st. We are going to grade your telecasts on its ability to reach female viewers and make suggestions to improve in this area. We trust that you will extend the proper courtesies necessary for this evaluation. But this is the best part. It's most likely I personally will be the evaluator on that night, and I sign Debbie Driscoll, president of the Buffalo chapter of the Women's Hockey Association. Oh, WHA. WHA is a joke. WHA is well, out no, of business. This is a gag, isn't it? No, it isn't no, a gag. No, this I is real. I mean, this, woman. Is, this is a real. She's a little bit of a nutcase, I what think. Do you mean? But she, uh, she's, she's going to be here, Paul. She's going to be. She's going to be here. I don't know what she's going to do, but she's going to be here tonight. And I don't, you know, with the laws and all that now, we, I guess we really have to watch it, so well, I'm just forewarning you. i, I got to tell you, you are a bit sexist at times. Well, wait, are you gonna oh, wait a minute, I'm not sexist. Are you going to let her no. in the studio? I always show girls' feet. <laughs> are you going to let her in the studio? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah oh, she's going you know, to yeah. have free reign. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. The studio. Yeah. What do you think she what, what do we do, throw her out? No, I, look, oh, no. the best oh, thing no. to do is oh, play just, it professionally. Yeah. You guys are pros. That's the only thing we can really do, so uh, let's pull ourselves together and... Uh, I hate to say it, but I guess we just have to put up with it. I don't like it. the smell of this. I really don't. Yeah, well, it smells like camel to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm sure you guys will do a good job. We'll just suck up and, and we'll take care well, of it. Who's working the right. doors anyways? Keep these doors covered. Okay. I don't All right. Want See you later. All right. Okay. That's enough okay. for tonight. Okay. All right. I hate this. Are you kidding? Yeah. Right. Well, what are you going to do? Yeah. You're all right. You're upstairs. You don't have to deal with it. You're going to be sneaking in all over here. Well... Well, I can see we're going to be in trouble tonight, because I'm not going to take it. Is that plain and simple? You can do it, buddy. You back me up on it? I, well, I'll back you. You know how much I always back you up. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Mike Robitaille from our intermission studio. We're just minutes away from the opening face-off, the Washington Hello. Capitals and the Buffalo Sabres, and a very special guest tonight, Debbie Driscoll, a representative from the Women's Hockey Association, better known as the WHA. Nice to have you join us tonight. Uh, uh, Debbie, wh what's the reason you're here? What are you trying to get? Uh, what are you, you getting something going here? The reason I'm here is I'm auditing the telecast. You have a lot of women viewers who want to have a say in hockey. This is the 90s. Um, we feel that women should have a more active role in the sport of hockey. There's coaching positions, management positions, um, scouts, general managers. Women want to be more active. Well, I guess the first thing that comes to mind anyways would be the fact it's a very physical game, uh, first of all. You, you might not belong as far as the physical uh, end of it is concerned. No. I mean, it's a tough game. No. Um, people want to see end-to-end -end hockey. Look at the Russian series. Who are the most famous skaters in the world? Dorothy Hamill. Um, Peggy Fleming. Yeah, but this Those isn't figure skating. Sk no, but they can carry on an end-to-end -end session. I mean, it, it's great. You don't want the physical violence. People want to see end-to-end high-scoring action. That's Wait, what keeps the people. Now going. you're talking about where you're going to end up with figure skates. Is this uh, what it's going to end up being eventually? or? No, but I mean, those were excellent skaters. Well, I don't know. I, I, I guess uh, that's fine, but there's more to hockey than just uh, certainly just skating. Well, what about well, the wives? I, I mean, maybe there's an area I think maybe where you could help over the players' wives. Get them more involved maybe or maybe they're too involved. Well, right? I mean, why should they be involved? Why should they keep the house quiet just because their husband wants to sleep? You mean he has to take a nap to play great hockey? Hmm. No way! We never get to take a nap. We do ten times more work around the house than they do. They go out and they skate for a couple hours. <laughs> Big deal. Look at, uh, I, I can't disagree with you. Anyways, we'll talk to you a little bit later. Great. Debbie Driscoll, let's go out to the ice for the first period. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Um, my guest in this intermission is goaltender Clint Malarchuk. And uh, Clint, nice of you to come in before the game. Uh, 
Pope, you're feeling a lot better. I know the last game you played was, uh, boy, against the Montreal Canadiens. You took an awful hammering that It night. was a rough game. You know, uh, I got hit one time, caught out of the net a little bit, and I ended up hitting the boards kind of funny and twisted a little bit and kind of set me, set me back a little bit again, I think. Well, there's no room for little sissies uh, in the National Hockey no, League. Like little girls with short pants. You game. play the game, you play the game hard. And it's you a hard game, and it's a man's I'm game. Sorry to interrupt. But she get but in here. Is, right, is this still on? This. Is this what, what, just totally inappropriate. Is, uh, oh, you're going to run it? I'm going to run it. You can just sit over there. All right, you're, just go you're ahead. Relaxed. We'll relaxed. see how you am pull I it off. Am I, am I done? No, just no, stay there with her. Let her have a shot at it. She thinks she's so good. Nice to meet you. I'm auditing the telecast tonight. Um, because we're, we feel that it's not geared towards the women audience. Oh, oh, and so if you don't oh. mind, I'd like to ask oh, a couple questions. Oh, I'm sure there's questions. a couple women watching. Um, Give it a clip. Women want to know. <laughs> women are interested in knowing what you do in your spare time when you're not playing Away hockey. from the game? Away from the game. I have I've a lot of things, uh, a few hobbies I do. I'm kind of, I don't know, I have a lot of friends away from the game as well. So I like to visit with them and catch up on things. I own a house, so I have to catch up on my bill paying and uh, taking care of the house and everything. So when you're on the road, you know, you got a lot of catching up to do. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, parents, especially women, are interested in knowing what type of advice you would offer to their young children playing minor league hockey right now. I would say that the, the thing with minor hockey, is you got to have fun. you got to keep the kids involved and having fun. Don't put pressure on them, the, the big win syndrome all the time. The kids have really got to... They go out there and have fun, and they'll stay in the game a lot longer then. It keeps them out of trouble, you know, especially when they get into teenage years and the, the directions can change a little bit. If they're having fun, they'll stay involved. Um, do you have any recipes you'd like to share with the women? Recipes? Don't cook you cooking? cook? Don't you cook? <laughs> That's a woman's job. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not. Well, I, I, I... You'd go hungry in my house. Well, I eat out a lot. You know, I'm not a good cook. I never really learned to cook. I think it's a woman's job, really. It's, it's a type house. of... What about shopping? That's, that's women's work. Yeah. You know, you don't, Who uh, buys your suits? Oh, I buy them. Yeah, but, you know, I, I just you must go out and buy... You don't... tie then, too, right? Well, yeah, what's that's the matter with the tie? not women's tie. Well, of course, it's... I don't have a woman to buy it for me, so I just do my own shopping. I go in, I see what I like, I buy it, and that's it. I mean, what, that's shopping, was women's work. Why do you think there's so many car accidents in malls? I mean, they're oh, in the parking lot. I mean, that's what the men causing them, because they're not paying there's attention. There's no men there. Driving. The women are shopping, or they should the be anyway. They should be shopping. They probably... Um, what about... Um, Boy. <laughs> she thinks she's a broadcast. I'll um, tell you what, she better stick at home and do a little work around the house. That's where she belongs. <laughs> Clean the sinks out a little bit. Clean the toilet. Do some ironing. Not only that, but keep the cars nice and clean. We'll take a short break. We'll come back to more of this ridiculous interview. <laughs> There you have it, two big goose eggs after one period of play. Mike Robitaille back with Jim Lorenz and uh, Driscoll, isn't it? Calm down Dis a little bit. Disco. Disco? Driscoll. Driscoll. Sorry. I hope your wife was watching. <laughs> I, I did get a little, I got a little hot, there's no doubt. I apologize for that. I, I am not a male chauvinist, but I got a little hot. There's yeah, no did. doubt about that. Well, well, you're no better, Lorenz. <laughs> I think we ought to sure, try. Sorry, right. I think we just sit back in the weeds and jump on hey, me no, all wait of a minute. sudden. No, I think we ought to co we ought to cooperate. We ought to try to cooperate with with the lady, and you know we'll just carry on and do our show. And well, I don't just think let's just ignore her like she's not here. I don't think you'll have to worry about your job. I can tell you that much. Let's look at a couple replays. All right. No scoring in the first period of play, but a couple opportunities. That's coming off the stick of Rick Vive. Rick Vive uh, is seeing a lot of ice time here tonight so far, Mike, and uh, he hasn't been getting much ice time lately, and. I think what Rick's trying to do is get, get him involved. He was a very v valuable member of the club last year against the Montreal Canadiens. And this is one, this is not a power play. He rings it off the goalpost and will end up with another chance that Beaupre snares on the short side. But uh, Vive uh, had a couple of other chances uh, too earlier in the period. But one thing that, that, he's, that they're going to need from Rick Vive, the, the Sabres, is his strength in front of the net, particularly uh, you know, against Montreal Canadiens uh, on the power play. He caused, uh, he caused them a lot of problems last year, and I'm sure Rick Dudley's thinking about that. He was, maybe was the best player against Montreal last season. Or you look up in the anyways. scoreboard also, you see that the New York Rangers, no score in their game, but Montreal is winning in a, in a big way. Yeah, uh, Montreal, of course, getting things in order, and this is an important game for the Sabres. Uh, they need to uh, they need to establish uh, some positive things, and they're playing in their own building here. They've had some problems this year. Good they, job. they need to. 
I beg your pardon? You guys are going to do You know, I would appreciate it if you wouldn't interrupt me when I'm, you know, I'm trying to do this. Uh, I have to tell you, you're doing You know, you're, you're a very aggressive you're female. I, I hope that you're associated. Well, that's, uh, that's something I want to bring up about well, being listen, aggressive. You want to be aggressive? I'm not going to sit here you're and get getting interrupted all the time. I mean, if that, the heck with this. I, I'm, I'm well, just here. a minute. No, no, I know I've been here all season with you. That's it. I've had it. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. <laughs> you know, I agree with you. You know, I, I mean, he, I was telling him, him he was doing a great job going over these well, replays. You don't have to interrupt me. At least he was watching the game. Well, we'll be back in a moment. You're watching Buffalo Sabres hockey. <laughs> Coming out of the ice surface here, and there's a look at the Washington Capitals. Well, I'm, I'm back, Ted, to trying to cool down after. <laughs> well, I tell you, I, he just got up and well, left and walked out. Well, I mean, how can you work under those conditions? I mean, she's <laughs> sitting there behind you and monitoring us. She's up here in the booth with a headset on. Well, there's a nice hat there. Well, I, I think. Of... Uh oh, she's back. What, you got the earphones on, uh, Debbie, and you, the microphone? And... Thought we were rude here. Now here's an opportunity for the Capitals. Now it's cleared. Went back to the Washington zone. Rutu, he blocked it. Now Francis Getty. Francis Getty going to the boards. Four of them are there. And it's whistled down by the referee. No, Miss Disco. Miss Disco. Miss Disco. I mean, Miss Disco. Miss Disco. Oh. <laughs> it's fine if you want to be up here and monitor our situation in the studios. I will certainly cooperate, but please don't interrupt when we're when we're trying to do a, a replay or something like that. I would just ask that courtesy from you. Okay. The head of his pace of last season. Now Luke Franceschetti seeing ice time or plenty of ice time tonight with Ruchu and Rob Ray. This has been a good line. And, uh, Oh, that was wonderful. Did you guys catch that fine? No, I, I didn't see it. Very yeah. good with small children. Oh. Mm -hmm. Cute girl. Danny flipped it back in. Here's Howard Chuck going in on goal. They score! Chuck. Look at the play by Howard Chuck, deking the defenseman Hatcher, and then sliding it across to Ben Waho, the classic Howard Chuck goal for setup. Wow, that was beautiful to watch, wasn't it? Howard Chuck passes the puck so well, but notice though how Hogue got himself in position. As soon as that puck was there, he just tapped it in. Hogue gets his 19th of the year. Now, Debbie, did you like that goal? That was fantastic. If you watch, this is great hockey. It's end-to-end -end rushes. This is what people like to see. But we haven't had any more fights or roughing or anything No, like that. this is no. good. No. Good Enjoy pace. It so I'm forth. glad we have your, your green with us. And, yeah. How many members do you have in your uh, Women's Hockey Association? 325. 325. Now Pavanka. He'll clear it in. And it's an offside call at the Buffalo Blue Line. Uh, what? We have 740 left here. Would you like to try uh, to do some uh, color commentating and then you can see uh, maybe what we're up against sometime and what we have to deal with? Well, Ben Baho gets his 19th That's from Howard really Chuck and Tanty. I'm He's reading. A wait a minute. Guy. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm reading the Sorry, scores okay. here. Ben Waho gets his 19th from Howard Chuck and Tanty at 12.02. And it's a 2-1 lead for the Buffalo Sabres. Lou Franceschetti really drilled Drews up along the boards. Franceschetti played with the Washington Capitals. Well, the last time we went down there, he's a, he's a big favorite of the Capitol Center. Now this was Hatcher knocking Franceschetti down. Wait, Debbie, how many letters in Francis Getty's name? Too many. No, how many? Way too many. Way too many. There are 13. Can you imagine his mother when he was in Little League playing? 
trying to stitch on all those letters. 13. Well, that would be a good job for a, for a woman to do, right? Sewing. No, that was back in the so 60s. This oh. is the 90s. You mean you don't sew? No. I have a tailor. You see, women are interested in stuff like that. Where did that font come from? Hey, up into the crowd here at Memorial Auditorium. And a gentleman has picked that one off. 150 left here. Grant Ledger is known to shop till he drops. Matter of fact, we're out in Winnipeg, he actually went and got a tuxedo because he's, he's getting married this summer. Lisa. Uh, this turned into a real good hockey game. Should be an exciting third period, and we have three goals to show you from the second period of play. And uh, boy, we will start right now, so we can get them in. Jim, are you set? Have you settled down a little bit? Yeah, I've, I've settled down. Uh, I, I what? Promise. I'm not going to say anything. If you promise. Jeez, that you're not going to walk up and make a fool of yourself. I promise. Well, I'm going to keep I quiet. Wasn't, I wasn't making a fool of myself. I was being goals. expressive. And, and really, you have go. a deal. As long McGillney as scored the first interrupt. goal, and uh, let's have a look at it. Alexander McGillney, Jim. Good play by Andrew Chuck and Turgeon behind the net, Mike. And watch the pass by Turgeon. And Beaupre, I don't think, is expecting to, uh, McGillney to be there. McGillney just takes a quick step to his left and fires the puck along the ice catching just inside the goalpost. But that was a, a play that started uh, back in the corner. Uh, good play by, a good play by uh, Andrew Chuck and then Turgeon. And McGillney has been sensational here again tonight. Certainly picked that nice low corner. He took a good look and that's exactly where the puck went. But a fellow that's just eating the Sabres up in the past couple game, Kristich, ties the game up. The Sabres are going to hope that they don't see this guy again this wow. year. He scored two goals in Washington on Tuesday night and scores another one here. Uh, this is a, a, an excellent save you're going to see by Darren Pupa coming up as the play will go through to him. Here, right here, now watch the glove save by Pupa. And the puck, Kristich will get this back and will fire. It was difficult to tell, Mike, from our angle. And this uh, second shot here goes in as he picks it in the goal crease and fires it into the net. Pupa gets a stick on it, <laughs> and he, he's going to put it in again. But uh, Koharski had already called a goal there. And uh, this, this kid, uh, this Russian, looks pretty good for the Capitals. Well, Benoit, Benoit Hogue. Uh, ben Benoit Hogg put the Sabres in front 2-1, another sensational pass from Dale Howarchuk. Yeah, it uh, was an excellent play by Howarchuk. Watch him fake down the defenseman and then slide the puck across to Hogg. And what I liked about this, Hogg knew he was going to get the puck, and he got himself positioned, and you could just see how anxious he was. He knew that Howarchuk was, was going to make the play and move it across to him, and he was there ready to shoot it in, and boy, he made no mistake. I nice goal. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, any, okay, well, I'm and uh, <clears throat> you all right? Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to go back upstairs. That's, I'll leave her with, you know. You have We're going to take a short yeah. break, thank you, and I'm left here alone. You're a heck of a guy, Lorenzo. Thanks very right. much. Uh, the fans enjoying this hockey game. Buffalo's in the lead. Even that youngster is enjoying it, and I'm not enjoying it that much. Uh, I'm just waiting for her to jump up at any moment. But she's gone. Now we can get serious. I can show you a couple pieces from the second period. But now to Andrew Chuck. That's the shot going. It was well, you were, easily you were, gloved by Beaupre. You were listening to the, uh, to the interview in the studio with Jerry Helper from Tampa Bay. Oh, oh isn't that wonderful? You know, that's inspiration to all the kids watching. Well, why, would he, why would he go to ice capades? He's playing oh. hockey. No, kids love ice capades. That's where the real action is. Do you know the color on that font, too? Whew. See, there's that color that I was talking about again. Can't we change that? Why? What, what's wrong with the color there? Oh, that's kind of sharp on the eye. Jeez. Wow. Jeez. Jeez. Here's Sutton, he'll bring it back. He's got Hoog with him. Steps in over the line. Here's a pass to Hoog. Well, Johansson 
sends it to center. Sutton's there, and he will be gloved by Liu. And you're watching Sabres Hockey on the Empire Sports Network. Oh. Now Leach with it. He sends it back, but it went behind Joe Hansen. Chicago with a 1-0 lead of the Red Wings in the second period at Chicago Stadium. Now taken by Francis Getty. Well, we got Hunter and Hartman. Hartman's going after Hunter. Here we go. Oh, here we go again. What do you mean, here we go again? Don't you like the fighting part of the game? No, no, no. I mean, a good fight doesn't hurt I'd anyone. I'd rather see end-to-end -end action with the Sabres scoring. Well, Hunter's got, so Hunter's got 229 minutes in penalties. You know, it, it is a contact sport. But so is football. You're watching Sabres Hockey on the Empire Sports Network. to two lead for the Buffalo Sabres. And Debbie Cusco has left the bar broadcast booth. She is going downstairs to the studio. Welcome back, everybody. And now it's time to see the play of the game. going to be a mother feeding her child. Look at the loving look that she's giving that baby, teaching it the first things in life. Children love their mommies. That's great. What a great shot we got on that. See the loving look in that baby's eyes to his mother. We'll be back in a minute. Well, that's it. It's all over, and that's what you call a powerful victory by the Buffalo Sabres, a beautiful way to finish off the season. And, Jimmy, you know, with this Driscoll here tonight, you know what I learned more than anything else? Sensitivity. You know, that score really doesn't count. It, it's Oh, come on, Mike. It doesn't well, count. I, I they played the game. I didn't learn that. I thought, you know, she was a major pain. Well, let's face that's it. That's the problem with you. You're more oh, or less yeah. kind of a Jeez. chauvinist anyways. I'm oh. not. I changed that Well, tonight. see, she's, trying, she's, different. Playing, she's playing you against me now. Well, that's what was going on. I've got news for you, buddy. I don't know if you're making the trip to Montreal. I think Driscoll's moved in and taken <laughs> over, guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, like with, with her pink lettering and the whole, the whole deal. It's fine with yeah, me. Okay, fine. The road trip is a road trip. Let's Fiddler on the, the roof. Yeah, fiddler on the All hoof right, if he was mind. a horse. Randy knows Langway's coming. Look at the shot. Oh, that was a sensational goal and without question uh, tonight's play of the game. It was a very, very sensitive shot also. It was a beautiful feeling the way he just swooped in more or less. But that's the Video Factory uh, play of the game. And Video Factory, they've got the movies. Uh, just one more thing. Very important tonight, Jim. Seriously, Poopa played well. I think that'll mean something to this hockey club. Well, are you going to make another smart comment? If no, I... he was gentle. Just the way he handled the puck, <laughs> the way he moved. There, there was nothing robust about it. It was just a beautiful feeling watching this game tonight. Well, uh, you know, I'm going to go home and learn some sensitivity, I guess. You should. You should, because you're what not a, a very night. sensitive individual. Oh. I'll what tell you night. what. We'll be back with some very, very nice, relaxful, peaceful out-of-town scores in just a moment. Please enjoy yourself. Come back with us in a minute. Welcome back, everybody. And now we're going to go through the Delta Airlines scores. Los Angeles and Calgary. Calgary's got a 5-3 lead. That's a final. Boston has a 5-3 lead over Hartford. They're still in the third period. Quebec has a 2-0 lead over Montreal, and they're in the second period. The Rangers against Pittsburgh, 4-2. Rangers are up in the third period. And the New York Islanders, 3-2 over the New Jersey Devils in the third period. St. Louis defeating Minnesota 2-1. to one. That's a final. Hull getting his 86. Edmonton 3-1 over Winnipeg in the third period. 
Detroit and Chicago still 1-1 in the second period. And the final here in Buffalo is 5-2. Buffalo defeating Washington. The next televised game will be Wednesday night at 7.30 when the Buffalo Sabres meet the Montreal Canadiens for the Adams Division semifinals. That's Wednesday night on Fox 29 at 7.30. April Fools, everybody.